everybody. This is so exciting. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Katie Bentz, and I'm going to be your host for Twitch Talk. I'm going to be joined very shortly with three other panelists. I'm super, super excited to be here for you all. So what's happening now is this is our premiere show for Twitch Talk. Twitch Talk is going to be a six-week run, and it's going to be every Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. And we're basically just going to talk about Twitch and streaming. And so if you don't know anything about Twitch, well, this is perfect. You're going to learn so much stuff. And uh, maybe you are new and you want to know more and you want to know about streaming, you want to kind of get an insiders on the streaming, this is the place to be. So I'm super excited to have you all here. Um, kind of the lowdown on what's going to happen is we're going to introduce a, a new streamer each week. So we'll have a guest panelist. It'll be myself, uh, streamer Ace of Ransom, and a streamer Vunderwerfer. And then after that, we will introduce a new guest every single week. This week we have Little Chief and I'll introduce them all here shortly. And um, then we'll talk about the streamer, what they're doing, what kind of games they stream, who they are outside of the stream. And then we'll go on to talk about Twitch topics. So th something that's new in Twitch this week or new in streaming, gaming, everything like that. And then we're gonna close it off by playing or watching some Twitch clips. So some funny Twitch clips that I have found and that people have actually sent me. And if you want to send me Twitch clips to be featured on here, you are more than welcome to do that. And you can do that through my Twitter and I will explain more of that later on. So um, without further ado, let's welcome in our panelists. So um, Vunderwerfer, he is a, a variety streamer and he will be coming in here very shortly. And I'm super excited to have him Hello. on. Yay, say hi Vunder. How's it going? Hey, thank you for being here tonight, everyone. It's so good to see you. Thank you for having me. Yes, hey. yes, yes. And then um, our next panelist is Ace of Ransom, who's also a Twitch streamer, a variety streamer, retro streamer. Hi. Hey, Dave. Hearts only, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we're now we're going to introduce our um, our actual guest that we have going on, and our guest streamer is Little Chief Two Thousand Seven. So if you want to pop in here, Little Chief. I didn't break anything yet, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Yay, you're here. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. So this is Little Chief. Um, I have an awesome video. I was going to play to introduce you, but I just want to have your reaction to your video that I made. So that is why you're in yes. here now. Um, so I've kind of made a little highlight video for everybody to see um, some funny little clips of Little Chief. And also some- Yeah, more awesome than some one? What was that? Yeah, more than one? Yeah, I made a little compilation. Come on, what oh, you think? Oh, no, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. That's... one. Nope. Oh my God. Let's do it. Let us do it. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm almost scared. Dude, I love the bandana. Thank you. <laughs> Had to. Come on, video. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was four. Four? Four? It people? was four. I said three, but actually four. Oh, this is my favorite one. <laughs> oh, so perfect. Oh, my God. Oh. Is it gonna come back for me? Did it go away for you guys? It did. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's that one. Yeah. Oh, did it start over? Uh, I don't know. maybe. Still says Technology is fun. I have not been seeing it. Yeah, I me mean, neither. I can't. I can't see it. I can see well, it. Let's start it over again. I can see like the thumbnail. Let's okay. see. Let's see what happens here, guys. <laughs> Well, we got a little bit, we got a little taste. That's, um, that's good. I'll just have yeah, to. Yeah, we got a taste. Um, hey, Ace of Ransom, why don't you um, try clicking play on it, if you're able to do that in the, um, in the little chat room thing. Maybe it'll work on your end. It's up at the very top. It's okay. after it says guest streamer. Yeah, do you see it? It just says, um, you can see him in the little video. If you're able to do that. We'll see if it works on your end. 
It could I just was, be a white I did see it. I, I, I did see it when you were trying to play it, but now it's not there anymore. Oh, you can't see it in our little chat? Not, uh, on that. So we have a little chat group. So if you if, remember, if you um, click on the, if you click your screen, it goes to the chat. Yeah. And then you can see everything that we've talked about. Uh, okay. I, I yeah, don't so see the video. Scroll, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I have to do some scrolling. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got hang we got on. a good show for you guys. We got a good show for you guys. So if you go up to the top to after oh, it there says, we go. Oh, somebody beat you to it. <laughs> hang on. No, I think it's going. Yeah, Lizzie saved is is saved. Yeah. Lizzie coming in close. She's <laughs> trying. <laughs> It's okay. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, it, if it doesn't work, we will just continue on. And yeah, I'll exactly. post this on Twitter later because the video is too good not to. We will all assume that the clips were hilarious and entertaining. I wonder what else is on there now. So I really do. Go check out twitch.tv slash little cherry. I see you now. Little cherry 2007. Like okay. And P2007. Yeah, we have the real little chief right here. We don't even need a video. We don't even need a video. You can tell us all about you. Cool. So we'll just move on to his, yeah, his camera action stuff. It is great. Um, so basically, yeah. So you got you saw a little bit of little chief there. Um, but little chief is basically a little chief. No. <laughs> We it's going. It's perfect. We already lost. It's what happened in the air. Almost we lost, lost the real one. Yes. Um, oh, they're trying to do it again. They're not giving up over here. We don't give up. Totally live. Here's the key. Welcome to Twitch Talks, guys. Can't believe that happened. Round two. So we, we just roll with it. All right. We'll, okay, let's, we'll move on. We'll just move on from that. Okay, yeah. cool. So Little Chief is a variety streamer who focuses heavily on community, um, which I think is super awesome because um, as a streamer, I really love to focus on the community as well. Um, your current games have been God of War, Dark Souls, and of course, Fortnite. So I'm super excited to have you on here. Um, would you just like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, just kind of what, what you stream, yourself as a person, all that kind of stuff, just introduce yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm currently an accounting student, actually, by day, and then a Twitch streamer by night, believe it or not. One more semester after this, and I'm actually done with accounting. But, um, yeah. You can, count, you can effectively count all of your Twitch bits and donations. I yes. could, all, all the revenue and everything, of course. Um, I've been an I've been account, accounting student, and then when I stream, yeah, it's just, it's just variety. I just play pretty much what I want. Um, the great thing about me is that, you know, my community is very... Uh, core based, if that makes sense. So no matter what I play, my community is always there. So of course, people will sure. stream one type of game, and then one day they play something else, and their viewership just drops. Of course, because you know, maybe for a certain game, both me, I play whatever I want, and then like my core community is always there, no matter what. So it's very cool, very rewarding since it is variety, and I'm being able to build community I am, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's really cool. I, I, yeah, I think that, I think that most of us here um, in the airtime stream right now could, could agree with that, that we have a core that will watch us kind of wherever we go to, which is really awesome to have um, mm -hmm. that community. Um, yes. Yeah. That's what's, that's, what's, that's what's great about being a variety streamer, I guess. It's like, you know, people are there, but not because of what you play, but because they, they want to hang out with you, right? So, super cool. Oh, yeah. Sorry, where are you going to get tied down anything else? And the bikes like, getting burned out and stuff, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so something that I really was interested in, just in, in watching you, Little Chief, on stream and kind of doing a little bit more research on you is that you have this this persona, this this um, this tribal persona that you carry. And I would love for you to talk a little bit about that. Um, I think it's awesome that you that you have this going. It's throughout your emotes, it's throughout your stream. Um, and yes, the headband, I love it. Yes. Um, yeah, could you just talk a little bit about how you decided to follow that? And um, I'm guessing you are Native American as well. Um, I have a part of it from my father's side, yes. Yeah, cool. I think we lost Bunder. 
Wonder is gone. But yeah, if so, you could just talk a little bit about that, that'd be great. Yeah, well, of course, like this is the same headband you've seen in all the video clips today, right now. Um, well, uh, when I went to high school, where I went to, my brother went to the same high school. And okay, sorry about that. what happened was, of course, I was there with people who still knew him, my brother because he graduated, I think, the year before me. And then there were still people who were like upperclassmen, juniors and seniors that knew my brother still. So, of course, me going to the same school and everything, um, you know, p- people tell me, like, they were part of referring to me as Lil Chief because my brother's nickname growing up is Chief. So, because ah. I'm his little brother, so Lil Chief became my nickname in high school, pretty much. I love it. And then um, it just stuck with me. Like, even some of those friends I still have to this day, when I see them somewhere, they'll still refer to me as Lil Chief. Like, I'm the only people that really do that other than stream my stream audience. My my good friends will still refer to me as such, which is awesome. And I'm still friends with a lot of them to this day. So, when I got my PS3 for the first time, you needed to have, um, of course, a screen name, like a PSN name. So, I said, well... Little Chief, and see, I graduated high school on my PS3, so 2007, so I thought back then, you needed to have, like, a number and be edgy, you know, to have numbers in your name, and just stuck me ever yep. since, that's my name. Cool, and then you just um, decided, because one of the things that I really love, too, is when you have your Twitch notification, you say, like, tribe assemble, which I think is just the coolest thing. I'm that's like, so cool. I, I love it. Well, Tribe Assemble is my raid call. Like, when you go to raid someone, I'll say Tribe Assemble, and then I tell my audience, okay, right there is where you say Little Chief Tribe Raid. Yeah, I just think that's really cool because as a streamer, you know, we're trying to kind of brand ourselves. We, we have this brand going on. I know Ace of Ransom just kind of did a little, did, did a little kind of cleanup of his brand and, and rebranding. But we, especially when starting off, like we have to try and find our brand. And I think that it's, it can be kind of difficult. And I think- Well, trust me, uh, this one didn't come very easily. I mean, I've been streaming, believe it or not, for almost four years, believe it or not, yeah. a long wow. time. I only started doing this. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I know. I've only been doing the tribe thing like maybe a year and a half. I don't think no more than two. Really? So it's not, it's not like this just oh, yeah. overnight when I started, you know? This is so new to me. Like only half of my time here. Cool, cool. That's that's cool. I mean, that's it's also really cool to, to know, too, that you've been streaming for four years because I think that – a lot of people start streaming and they're in a year and they're like, man, like this isn't going anywhere or I'm, you know, I'm not getting as many followers as I want to be getting. Um, but you've been doing it for four years. I'd be I lying mean, if I that? said I don't. Hmm? What was that? I was say, I'd be lying if I said I don't want more because as humans, I think we're all programmed to want more in life. That's how humans are. And sometimes sure. kind of, it, it sucks to know. I mean, and I, I don't want to sound mean. Of course, I value everything I've accomplished because I've done a lot of great things. But of course, I do want more. I've been streaming longer than a lot of partners have been even streaming in general. So it is kind of, at times, kind of tough to think about that and know that. But of oh, course... Really? It's, I do this for fun anyway. It's not my it's not my goal to be full time ever. So I do this for fun anyway. Though that probably would have stopped a long time ago, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and that's something that we'll 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 mention back when we talk about the topics because I I love to talk about affiliate versus partner with you guys and and get mm-hmm. a little bit of dialogue about that. So we'll definitely revisit that um, that conversation there. But um, yeah. But I mean. Props, though, to continue on, especially, like, four years ago. And, I mean, you do. You have an amazing community because I've popped into your streams multiple times. I'm pretty sure the first stream that I popped in was a Life is Strange stream. That's how I found it, you. I'm pretty it, sure was. it was. I was oh, playing the first one, not, like, not before the storm, but the <laughs> first one. Yeah, I, you were playing. Okay, cool. I was like, I was. Katie came in and was like, "Oh, what are you playing?" <laughs> oh, what hey, are you playing? Life is Strange. I see. <laughs> Steph girl, pretty cool, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, um, yeah. So you're a variety streamer, um, and and you but you, you play a ton of different games. What's like your all time favorite? Games. What was that? So what does it mean when there's the hearts around everybody? <laughs> People are like reacting, right? People who are watching are giving us love. It means there's a lot of love in this chat. Love. Hell yeah. It's, it's the hair. It's the it's the hair. <laughs> means it's a safe um, space. Favorite game you said, right? Or favorite games to play? Yeah. And um, then, sorry, guys. Okay, cool. So I, yeah. So what kind of games do you like to, like, what's one of your all-time favorite games to play? Because you are a variety streamer, so you played a lot of different games, but what's your all-time favorite? At the, um, how do I say this? At the very 
big disapproval of one of my mods. I've always liked playing The Last of Us because it's a great story and there's a lot to dissect in that game. One of my mods kind of I think, almost hates me because I played it so much. Like whenever I joke <laughs> about doing my first, I've never done it yet, but like I always said to myself, or I joke around with him, like if I ever do a 24 hour stream, it's going to be all The Last of Us just to poke fun at him, just to get a reaction out of him. Last of Us, I still love The Binding of Isaac. Been playing a lot of Fortnite recently also. Dark Souls, I love playing Dark Souls because I just love being able to share the experience of beating all these awesome bosses with everybody. You know? Oh yeah, it's a great feeling. Yeah, cool. You had, um, Thunder, you had some questions about Dark Souls, correct? Yeah, so what's, because uh, I mean, I think, I'm, I want to say a big Dark Souls fan. I feel like at that point, Souls for Dungeons, since it's like gotten to be so popular, but if, uh, which of the, like, have you played all three of them? Or do you have like a favorite? Or like, what's I've never beaten number one. Played, if you played one. one. I've never beaten number three? one or two. I've only beaten number uh -huh. three and Bloodborne. And Bloodborne's not a Dark Souls game, but it's by the same people. And yeah, funny enough, yeah. anytime I played anytime I play those games, it's not very clear what to do. Like you don't have a map. So what happens yeah. is both times I've been in those games, I have somebody like actually guide me through a way because I always got stuck somewhere, you know? Oh really? Yeah, hey. Yeah. So no, I never it's beat so it on really lost. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a, I don't think I'll ever play Bloodborne or Dark Souls. I just, I don't <laughs> recently, I actually beat recently oh, Dark Souls 3 in one sitting. Playing Dark Souls in one sitting? And, and Blood it took me four hours, but I did it from start to the end credits, yes, on stream. Oh my God. Playing Dark Souls That's and like Bloodborne is like, it's almost, it's, uh, what's the word? It's like a, it's like a journey. It's like a journey of self, like, mm -hmm of self-discovery and patience and like you have to overcome like your own temper <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't get mad at dark souls though that game that um we didn't see it in the twitch clip but you know when i was doing that getting over a game and i fell all the way to the bottom right yeah <laughs> yeah that game made me rage way more than any dark souls games has ever made me rage believe it or not i oh, love man. that game oh my God, that I so know. i'm gonna have to tweet it because it's like literally the funniest thing like you literally I... you, you just look up and you just leave you're like i can't even be here my heart just breaks. You can see my heart just breaking. I, um, I feel like I, I have raged less at, like, Souls games over time. Like, from when I first picked it up to, like, now, it's like I now go in with the understanding of, like, what I'm getting into. Like, it's, like, what I've signed up for. And I don't know. Like, I think you just get better at just... I don't know. It's it's almost sad to say, but you never get too excited. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh god, you just yeah, you just so, tend to, um, to watch. Something that I really really want to ask yeah. you about, um, little chief, is mm -hmm. the the number of sponsors you have is really like inspiring and just really awesome to see. You have so many sponsorships, so many partnerships with a ton of different companies. Wait, I'll wait until you're situated. I'm going to try to get some headphones, too. Maybe it's even me. I'm going to try it. Oh, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you... Um, I'll wait until I can't hear you. Sorry, hold on. No worries, no, no worries. Are second. you doing eight? How are you doing, Thunder? How's Anything everybody doing? When you're live? I'm doing... Yeah, I mean... I Got it. Mean, okay. I, it looks... I'm feeling... I'm feeling. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So yeah, little chief, I was um I was looking at all of the sponsorships you have and all the different partnerships you have, and I think that is really inspiring and really amazing because I think that as streamers we we always want to be sponsored. We always want to have partnerships with different organizations and companies. And mm -hmm. I was just really curious about you know how that all came about and if there are streamers watching, you know, what kind of advice could you give to those streamers on getting sponsorships and getting partnerships? have it be a product you like and actually use of course because my first partnership was with a company called glom tom it's this ergonomic pad that sits on your on your lap and you, you can rest your elbows on there and just improves the blood flow to your shoulders and your arms and mine unfortunately got kind of got messed up because i moved houses for a little bit because of house repairs and unfortunately while at the other original house my uh my house that I was at got like, well, the, um, the Glom Tom product itself got like damaged, got like mold on it or somehow or something crazy like oh, yeah. that. So I, I had to throw it away. And I remember I'm kind of used to not having it now, which kind of sucks. But I remember when I first tried streaming without the Glom Tom again, without being able to rest my arms and elbows, you could feel like just that stress and like just the tension in your, my shoulders and my neck. So it sucked. 
That sounds great. So, I have to check that out. It sounds like a Guantan.com. I mean, I was account. streaming yesterday and like my arms went numb. I was like, I have to take a look at that. It's terrible. You can use discount code Little Chief if you want to get one and get a five dollar oh, discount. Hashtag sellout. Will Chief. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Sell out. Sounds like a plug. To me. Hey, no, no sellouts here. No sellouts here. You can announce yourself, represent everything. Put it Just out put there, this baby. place before. Yeah, put mm-hmm. it out there. Seriously. Um, that's really, really cool. Um, and then pardon me, because I had to step away for a bit. Did you talk about architect game or archetype gaming? Not yet, no. I know Patrick had a couple questions about that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I mean uh, specifically, yeah. How'd you get involved? And like, did you and uh, archetype um, like the team? I guess I guess it is. Is that the name of your team that you're involved with? Uh huh. Um, well, it's one of the teams. I have actually a few teams now, but um, oh, Archetype oh, wow. was originally... Oh, do tell! No- <laughs> they were known originally as Swab Gaming in 1999 and participated in many kinds of tournaments and different kind of gaming tournaments, which, like, you know, it's not to the level that it is now. The you would SWAT your opponents. <laughs> uh, SWAB, S-U-A-B. Oh, SWAB. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it's swab like me, you know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's Swab Gaming originally, and then it became a Twitch thing, of course. And yeah, so with Swab Gaming, um, it became Archetype Gaming. And unfortunately, this is where I got to be careful what I say. I'm not trying to slander anybody, but the guy who originally founded it kind of uh, just took a step out and was kind of a jackass about things and just kind of left the whole group altogether because of issues with he support and he stuff. He wasn't very Swab. No, he, he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's an overgrown baby of a Twitch partner. Oh, That's why I say I'll stop right there. Oh, you heard, you heard it. Yes. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah, he's a he's a big one. We're gonna one, have so... him on next week to to you know to. <laughs> well, I, I haven't spoken to him in a while, now. anyways. <laughs> Whatever, but um, but yeah. So now, like other people that were kind of leaders under him are not kind of now taking over the group. I don't even say they're the owners, but they're taking over because he founded the group and he decided to just be a, be a bitch and just walk out, you know, because you oh. felt entitled. <laughs> I'll stop right there. Well. <laughs> well, it's good that it's 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 at a better place now, though, right? It's good oh, that yeah. it's at a better place. You know, um, definitely. And, Little Chief, it's and funny hey, you say that because we actually have him in. Hey, uh, founder of Archetype, if you want to bring your camera, yeah. on, come on in. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's seriously, right? right? Um, <laughs> hey, if you're if you're new and you're just tuning in right now and you're like, what's going on? Um, we are doing Twitch Talk, which is an awesome new show here on Airtime. It's going to be at Thursdays, eight p.m. We're here with myself, Katie Benz, Wunderwerfer, Ace of Ransom, and Little Chief 2007. We are all streamers on Twitch, and we are Twitch talking. And Little Chief is our guest this week. And we're just asking him questions. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, yeah. Oh, our, wow. Our snap sound effect. I, we got to yeah. add that a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, our oh, snap. <laughs> Cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. And just before we get away and talk about the topics, um, a little bit more about you. So you're a wrestling enthusiast. You like wrestling? Do you yourself wrestle or are you just super into watching wrestling? I'm not a wrestler. Hell no. I, I couldn't be able to compete with them. I'm just a big fan. Definitely a big fan. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Hmm. Hey, we got to be fans of something, right? I attended WrestleMania That's great. in 2015. Cool. Okay. So did you? I'm sure that oh, yeah. was. I'm sure that was. Did you watch? Have you watched it ever since fun. you were like a kid? Ever since 1996. Yeah, I'm also a little older than I look too, but ever since 1996. Yeah. Damn. Cool. Awesome. That's I was a seven years old. Uh, I'll let you guys do the Favorite math. Favorite wrestler of all time. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Yeah, not, not even a yeah. question. Shawn Michaels. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. He's awesome. Groovy. I don't know anything my about older wrestling, bro- my so older brothers I'm. We're into wrestling. I never got into it. <laughs> No, Wait, um, I, I know a little bit. Your older brother brother did wrestling, or did he do did he do uh, UFC or boxing? Mm, neither. No, uh, my bro- no, no, I was saying my older brothers were into, oh. were into were oh. into wrestling. Like what? What? Oh, they were watches. like got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. No, my okay. oldest brother was a boxer, but but they I'm talking about when we were young, they watched it. You were into I, wrestling. Okay, got it. Yeah, cool. I never I never really got too into it. I don't know. I was. I don't know. I don't know why. I just 
That's fair. It's too, it's too close to like a sport, and I, I don't know. <laughs> you, just were not, you were like, I like games and acting, so yeah. what is the sport thing? I was like, yeah. I love sports ball. It's my favorite. Sports ball. All the sports balls. <laughs> Cool. Everyone. Sweet. So um, we got to know a little bit more about you, which is awesome. And um, yeah, all the little laughing faces. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's let's just bring you on and continue talking about um, Twitch topics and what's new in Twitch. And uh, yeah, so this month is Mental Health Awareness Month, actually, um, everywhere in the world. And Twitch is really big about mental health and about supporting people who are going through issues and problems. And they actually posted a blog post to encourage streamers to spend time talking about mental health in their chat and, and, and just being a place to, you know, make that um, heard that people are here to help you that, you know, give, give hotlines, that kind of stuff. Um, what are your guys' opinion on that? I mean, uh, I come from a very, uh, I, my community is very, very mental health, like advocates. We, we, we want people to feel good. We want people to feel safe. We want people to feel happy. Um, but I, I'm, I'm curious to hear other sides of this. Um, you know, is that, is maybe that kind of like, I don't know, do you want to have that pressure of talking about mental health in your, in your stream? Like, is that a pressure added on? Is that something that stresses you out? You don't want to, you don't want to get in the way with that. I would love to hear people's thoughts. I think it's, I think it's awesome, honestly. I think it's a super, you know, it's just good to talk about, you know, I mean, it depends on your community too, but I mean, I think all of us have like, you know, communities where we want to be positive. We want to support each other. And, you know, it's just, it's, you want people to come, you know, you can have a conversation about it and help people out. Maybe, maybe that's not for everyone, but I personally think it's awesome. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I what am someone who recently went through things in life actually um just can't talk about like how severe it was for a second go for it yeah go for it okay. i mean you say so, whatever you feel comfortable. yeah so um you know the, the thing about streaming of course is like uh there's always like this mentality of having to be live all the time right so mm -hmm. there are two things to say number one it's a terrible thing to have because that mindset because that can cause a lot of issues especially when you're run down and tired from streaming. It was a time I used to stream, I think, like, for two weeks straight sometimes, like, only took a break when I needed to. Not have a schedule, of course, which is six nights a week, so it's still almost as bad, but that one night off does help a lot. And then recently, I was going through a lot of things in life, just things with my private life, uh, personal life, things with school life, work life, just everything. And in March, I believe, or, like, in either late March or early April, I took off, like, two weeks from streaming almost completely. I only streamed, I think, like, two or three times in those two weeks I mentioned. And, you know, I, I also had spring break during the time of um, that happening. And if I wasn't at work during spring break, I'd have, I had a, uh, a week off school, of course. If I wasn't at work during spring break, I was actually in my room, like almost locked up, for, locked away from everything for the whole time. And that sucked. Um, but I have a very great support system, family and friends. It's great to know that around the time that happened, friends were telling me things like, you know, and they even told me, they're like, yeah, you sound and look depressed. I was like, you know, maybe I am. But um, of course, it's just cool to have friends that in that moment when I started to get better, they're like, hey, let's hang out, let's go and eat somewhere, let's go grab a drink or something. So mm -hmm. it's nice to feel wanted, if that makes sense, of course. because obviously yeah. I love Twitch and my community is my friends and everything too. But it's also nice to have people in around you that you can actually talk to and like you know a handshake a hug and just like talk about things so that really helped me out too a lot especially trust me when i say that i'm in a way better place now than i was mm -hmm. last month you know mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i yeah what's your what's yeah, your opinion that... on it butter well i mean because like you're talking you need that support system like that's so important like when you're in a bad place mentally having that support system is like the most invaluable thing in the world. And a lot of people don't have access to that, unfortunately. Right. And that's, that's why that's something that's great about being a streamer. That's something that I want to do is, you know, so like to be able to offer that support to people who can't find it in their yep. everyday life and they need it. So I think that's why I think mental, this whole mental awareness thing is, is awesome. And, you know, hopefully it brings more discussion about it. More people open up and feel like they can make that leap and reach out and talk to people about it and get that support they need, you know? Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. What about you, Ace? 
just about it in general and in, in like the space of Twitch? Well, just your thoughts about Twitch being very p pushing mental health awareness month and, and wanting people to wanting streamers to talk about mental health in their streams. Uh, I think it's good. Um, just a, a sort of um, side take that I have about it is that I personally get a little bit anxious and uncomfortable about people putting their stuff on me. So I have found myself in a position where I want to help and be that guy. And you talk about like being a streamer and being there for people. Um, but sometimes I also don't even feel equipped and I almost feel like yeah. it's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. So I think that's almost yep. something that's an angle that I think that it, we all want to do, but I also want to say, I think it's important for all viewers to, you know, open up. Um, but like, also like you gotta, you gotta spread out in terms of like, what else you need to be in applying to your own life in terms of seeking like professional help. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and, you know, trying things that are more therapeutic um, because at the end of the day, Twitch is Twitch and it's, it's your, it's supposed to be your source of entertainment. It's not professional therapy. Yeah. So we're I've not always, professionals. Right? Yeah. yeah and like, so, I actually, so, like, that's, that's just the one thing that I always think is important to touch on in the sense, because, um, cause I, 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 I've been subject to and seen people be subject to what I would consider uh, slight, slight, slight oversharing, um, and not to like ever discourage people from talking, but it's mm -hmm. like, again, as, as streamers, we're not always equipped to deal with that. So it's yeah. those things where like, definitely open up the community, definitely get it out there, but no, yeah. keep, 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 um, keep like, um, perspective of where you should be seeking the answers. Mm -hmm. out. Yeah, um, I agree. I agree. I think that point. that, yeah, I think I agree completely. And I always just tell my chat, you know, I may not be equipped for something, but I'm here, you know, and if, if you feel better being in the chat room, being in, you know, the stream, if that's kind of your own therapy, just being here with us all, like, please be here with us. Um, but I definitely, yes, I, I can hear where you're coming from for sure. I mean, overall, I think that it's definitely really good that, that Twitch is focusing on mental health. I think that you know, well, with, with Twitch and streaming, I think that a lot of the people who watch streams, a lot of people that stream, you know, they're people who might have social anxiety, might not know really how to interact with oh, people yeah. in real life. And that's why they, you know, go to streaming and stuff. And so I think that that it's, it's, yeah, I think it's a good topic. And I, and I, and I'm glad that you guys wanted to talk with me about it here on airtime. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. Um, so just to keep the, just to keep the topics going, we're going to head on to our next topic. Um, nice. the affiliate program. Um, so as Ooh. a lot of you know, it was just the anniversary of the affiliate program. Um, so if you had been streaming longer than the anniversary of the affiliate program, it was just your one year affiliate anniversary. So I'm Ooh. pretty sure all of you just had that, right? All Mine of on May 1st. May first. On May first. Okay, cool. I know Pat or I know Ace just did, and then Vunder. April twenty eighth. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Uh, did you have your affiliate anniversary? Have I, haven't yet? Even, I haven't even been streaming for a year. You haven't? Okay, I didn't oh, know. Wow. I didn't know. Okay, cool. No, no, okay. close to you. I started last like July, I think. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. Sweet. So yeah, it's the affiliate versary of being the, having an affiliate program. Um, and I think that that's really awesome that, that Twitch decided to do that because before it was just partnership, right? Oh, it's being fantastic. a partner and it was extremely so hard. Oh, it yeah. was ext extremely hard. It's still, it's, I think it's probably even more hard to become a no, partner. No, it used to be harder back then. No. Really? No. Was it? It's even harder. Concurrent, it was harder back it was then. Crazy concurrent back viewership. Then. Concurrent like viewership is 500. Yeah, because yeah. you should now get it some 500. Yeah, yes. it, it, that, <gasps> yeah, the recommended amount was 500. Mm -hmm. Well, now yeah. we have this awesome program that literally, like, what is the concurrent viewership? Like, like three That's or that. something? And oh, three for affiliates. Three, three, three for affiliates. Three, yeah. three for yeah. affiliates. So, so having three people just watch three you, guys. and then having 50, just three guys in there, and then having 50 followers, right? And then you have to stream for a, a certain amount. Seven days, but, unique days, something like that. Yeah. yeah, but I think you can actually get your affiliate partners or your affiliate ship. You can get it within like two weeks, I think is usually what people get it in. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's great because it gets, it gets us a way to be paid. I think 
Um, I think we are all affiliates in here, correct? I don't think yeah. we have any partners in here. We're, but yeah, it, it, it's a way for us to get paid. It's a way for us to have We're going to have a partner soon. We're going to have a partner soon, though. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good, good. I know it's it's freaking hard, but it's it's good for the affiliate program because yeah, I mean, without having it, like we wouldn't have anything really to give back to our community. I know a lot of people would have done Patreon, all that kind of stuff, but with with the affiliate program, we can we can have three you know sub emotes to give our subscribers, which is awesome. And it's um, great because it protects the streamer too, because in terms of getting bit donations, like that's guaranteed oh, yeah. money. When you get a bit yeah. donation, that's yours. Um, mm -hmm. And people no chargebacks screwed back with yes. chargebacks via PayPal, so it definitely adds another element of like buffering uh, the streamer and like an extra level of security, uh, you know, for as much as you can base on your income as possible. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and but yeah, I I and um, just being being a partner is is extremely hard to to do. I know personally, I've applied twice. I don't know how if you if any of you have applied how many times if not and um, a few times. It's, it, yeah it's it's definitely it's definitely a hard thing to come by but um, I really am appreciative of the affiliate program that Twitch has mm -hmm. allowed us to be a part of I think it's really cool um, but any other thoughts on that Vunder did you have any thoughts on that or anything. I, well, I mean, I think the affiliate program is awesome. Like you said, like, you know, it's great to have that support at like a lower level and even getting to affiliate can be a grind. Like when I, when I joined Twitch, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a community. I didn't, I, I didn't know anyone who streamed. I wasn't even, I don't know, I'm still surprised at the fact yeah. that I'm a streamer because I was never planning on it. It was just kind of a big coincidence. Um, just kind of download OBS and just get start for no reason. And then eight months, nine, 10 months later, here we are. But I uh, getting to 50 probably took me like every day. Remember the first two weeks, just like talking to myself, like an empty room yeah. for like five or six hours a day. You know, you just wait for just like one person Dude. to come in. Like, please, <laughs> please. It's right. But um, it's, 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 I, I think it's an awesome program. I can't imagine not even having that and having to go all the way to partnership mm -hmm. without any in between. And something I think would actually be really cool is to have, because when you think about it, there's a really big gap in between affiliate and partner. Like, you oh, like, yeah. goes from having to have three to like 75. And mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, it, it might be like, I, I think it's cool if there was like some kind of middle way point or maybe like if you had more sub points, uh, you'd get a few more benefits, maybe a few more uh, remote slots or something like some kind of in between to make you feel that that progress in between like a partner. Like huge, huge gap. Oh. But uh, yeah, yeah, something in between. But I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm not counting on that, but I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, you never know, Twitch doesn't listen to his community. Yeah, it, yeah I know. True. That's what something's really, yeah, something's I think really more emotes Twitch based on subscriber points, like because maybe not the I'm same because it wouldn't be fair to partners because i know if, if you are on twitter I, i'm very big into the twitch culture i've been streaming for so long but like when affiliates come out like people have ideas for like emotes like or not emotes, like when the idea of people having subscription buttons so early came up partners were very salty about things about like oh well you know it's not fair for us partners yeah, who did it for so long partner. so um so maybe not the same number of sub points. Like say you get, I don't know, I'm throwing numbers out there. Yeah. Say you get like an extra one of 10 subs, maybe 20, you know? Oh yeah, 100%. Like definitely mm -hmm. not as many. Yeah, um, yeah. Just because, you know, we don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt. <laughs> of course, yeah, I know, because I mean, we, we, don't, we don't need to, to bruise the egos of the partners, right? Exactly. <laughs> Already, yeah. more. Cool, awesome. Yeah, um, sweet. Just talking, talking about things, streaming. things. see something about affiliate, though, also. Um, I remember when it first yeah. got introduced, people were, like, saying how, oh, you know, the affiliate program's so dumb that people are, you know, it's Twitch's way of, like, locking in people just so they can save, you know, so they can make more money and so people don't go to other platforms. Well, isn't any business about making money anyways? If yeah, you're not Twitch trying to make money, business. then you're not going to, yeah. So who yeah. cares if yeah. you're trying to make money? Well, and honestly, like, yeah. I, it just like it makes us all feel good too to be like, be say to say like I'm an affiliate. Like, it just it's like a good title to have, you know. Oh well, yeah, or like, exactly. or like, oh go ahead. I, I got a nine month reset last night. Like, what the hell, you know? Come on, yeah, How awesome. Yeah, that? exactly. It's no. awesome. It is really freaking awesome. I mean, yeah, a hundred percent. It's just like you know, if people are going to support you, like they're going to support you anyway. Just like give them the tools, you know. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like. Um, and then especially with Twitch Prime, you know, with the ability to sub, sub for free, like it's, you know, if I, if I wanted to 
like uh, support someone on Twitch and I wasn't able to because they weren't at some certain kind of standard, like, and be it a ridiculous one or like a very high one, that would be frustrating for me as someone who just wants to support. So it's like, yeah, like, I, I have to like make myself give the money to someone who like isn't my first choice because they're not on a certain tier of the website. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's good for everyone involved. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it's, it's groovy. Groovy. Um, I agree. Something that's really cool that when I was doing research about what was happening um, in Twitch news, have you guys heard of the bounty board program? I know Ace, you have, because I mentioned it to you, but have any of you, have Little Chief or Vunder heard of the bounty board program? I have, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Vunder? <laughs> He's frozen on the other side. <laughs> he had his like tongue stuck out. It was great. Um, okay, yeah, cool. So, so He'll jump back in. I was just like, are you there? Thunder was, um, done. Thunder was done. Okay. <laughs> so what the bounty board program is, is so you guys know what it is. Um, so for people who are watching, the bounty board program is a way for creators to browse and accept paid sponsorship opportunities, AKA bounties, um, directly from their Twitch dashboard. And it's in the beta testing and it's only closed for partners in the US right now. And you either have to like go and apply for it. That's why Vunder hasn't heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well little chief yeah um but but uh yeah i mean i think it's a i think that i hope that it's not going to be just for partners but i can see it being just for partners after it gets out of, of testing. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. but i think what a great what a great way though because even even as a partner um as little chief knows um there's tons of partners who are at lower levels than a lot of affiliates and don't mm -hmm. get, you know, they're not paid a lot. But I think this is a good way for streamers to actually know that they're going to get money. Because you can go on and play Call of Duty and get $100 for playing Call of Duty for five hours through this bounty program. Um, and so that's like money that is that is guaranteed for you. And let and you, because we don't know if, um, what are you giggling about, Pat? <laughs> yeah, Pat's going <laughs> the Slack. <laughs> oh, and Slack. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because as streamers, whether you're an affiliate, whether you're a partner, we, we are yes. guaranteed money. We may not, you know, get bits one day. We may not get donations. It could be just a, it could be just a, you know, a zero dollar day. But with this bounty program, you're going in there and you can say, okay, I want to go to work today. Let's play Call of Duty. I'm going to get a hundred dollars from this bounty. Um, what do you guys think about it? It's awesome. Ace right? and Thunder. Um, yeah. I think it's sorry. Continue, little chief. I was gonna say. I mean, I have someone's gonna already have have Mario Gal uh, Mario Galaxy Mario Odyssey on the Switch already. I have everything but an Xbox. I have a PS4, a PC, and a Switch. So I already have Mario Odyssey on the Switch. I already have Call of Duty. So cool. like, if I was a partner, I'd be like, yes, sign me up for those games right now. I'm I'm gonna play the Call of Duty mm -hmm. in five months, but you know, for a hundred bucks, sure, I'll play for an hour or five. I don't care. Sure. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's a great opportunity. I think it's really cool. I mean, because it's just like another way to, uh, you know, make make ends meet as a streamer, make men's eat as a streamer, you know? Men's eat. Um, <laughs> what I, did you uh, say yesterday? Thank you for, what did you say? Make ends meet, the camera was make no, men's eat. No, but yesterday you were like, you were like, thank you for the bitch or something. What did you oh, say? Oh, I meant to say thank you for the bits. I think I said like, tank for the bitch and it can't yeah thank you for the bitch thank I you for the bitches um, <laughs> it was <laughs> making me laugh so much thank oh, you for the bitch I'm, I'm like i hope your chat brings that back oh my god okay anyways continue i'm sorry I no, no, no don't worry about it it's all oh. good i um i think it's a really you know the, the, the cool way to you know help streamers out but the one thing that worries me about it is i was looking at like you know there's not a lot out on it yet i don't think i saw like a yeah. screenshot of it and it was like you know play this game for an hour play this game for an hour play mm -hmm. this for an hour and um it was kind of like i it just it seems kind of like awkward it's like oh hey guys today we're gonna be play call of duty for one hour and then we're gonna be switching over to mario odyssey for another hour and, <laughs> hours. and i know i know no one wants to see these games but uh, you know mm -hmm. i got I gotta get food on the table somehow you know sure yeah so it's it seems so it's like, like a little awkward uh but mm -hmm. you know uh, it might not be finalized and who knows i could be wrong it might be amazing i don't know so yeah it, I, I i i know of it but i if i if I get this straight, because I don't fully understand, it's basically 
you get paid to play games and it's yes. it's on yeah. like you you I guess you're getting paid by the developers. Yeah, it'll be like the game. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like play this game for an hour with this many concurrent viewers and we'll pay you $100 or like something like that. Interesting. Looks like yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. see that's 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 tough because I don't love the idea of a less democratic popularity of games. Yeah. Um, I, like so that that does open the door for what I mean, for like corruption, for lack of a better word. That's like a good corrupt, point. Corruption. corruption. To, like, like what games are popular? It's, is this, is this, it's like, is this popular because they're paying the big bucks to like influence us to be popular? Or is this popular because it's a good game? Yeah, you know I, I mean? totally agree. How does it look? Yeah. yeah, it's like. Little it's Chief, like a cool Little idea. Chief doesn't like it. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> corruption? Cool yeah, but corruption. Oh, that. You watch that Twitch, Twitch government is corrupt. Watch out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, Twitch is perfect. Man. Please, please, please. Can't please trust Twitch. Can you trust? Please, yeah. please don't fire me. Please, please don't, don't take fire me. Please, please, please take away my affiliation. No, I feel it. Yeah, I love it. I love Twitch. I love Twitch. Oh my gosh, Twitch well, is awesome. Whatever they do is perfect. It's fine. Um. Yeah. Cool. I just thought that was such a neat thing, and and there's new things coming out every week, and we'll talk about more things that are coming. There's something came out this week that we'll talk about on the next show. Um, and so who's giving you middle fingers? <laughs> so who's giving you middle fingers? But you're getting a lot of middle fingers and poop. Kind of stinking here, guys. <laughs> I know all those poop emojis. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Let's, oh, let's, um, ah, what you... <laughs> technology. Pay no attention um, to the man behind the ring light. Right? Um, <laughs> So now we're going to watch some Twitch clips, which I'm excited about. Hopefully we'll see. We had a little bit of technical difficulties watching videos earlier. So um, let's see if this works this time. So this is the part of the show where we watch Twitch clips. And these are clips that I found, that Vunder found, that Ace found, and that you found. And you guys can send in your Twitch clips to me through Twitter just by adding me at Katie Vince and I will look through all the Twitch clips I get and select a bunch. And um, yeah, please God, please God. <laughs> everyone's freaking out right now. Cross. Okay, Cross. Let's, let's see. Okay, cool. So um, our first clip, let's see if I have this correct. I'm excited. I like Twitch clips. So our first clip is called, is, is from streamer, Manacle Melon, and it's um just a nice little jump scare. So let's see, let's see if uh, let's see if it plays, guys. Love a good spook. Oh. <laughs> Did you see oh. it? No, it cut to the very end. Oh, no, it cut out before <laughs> it, the jump scare. It just cut to the yeah. end. Damn yeah. it! Wait, yeah, hold on, stop. <laughs> wait, 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 stop. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> I just love his laugh. Like that. <laughs> that's I just, I like, I just like his laugh reaction. That's, that's what I like about that one. So what's so going to happen, I'm guessing, is that I'm just going to have to play it back. So that's what's going to happen, crap. and it'll be great. It'll, it'll that's be fine. great. I see the credits. Okay. It'll it'll be awesome. So this is um from Claude. I can never pronounce her name, but it's Claudia. Her name is Claudia. Um, so I'm actually. Whoa! What? Oh my god! Tomb Raider. Is this yeah? Is this Tomb Raider? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but this is like this the, is the worst game. glitch ever. I believe I can fly. I believe I can. Oh my god! <laughs> I think um glitches this in games day. are. Right? I just think that they're kind of the best things ever. I love them. Twitch they're clips. not glitches, they're enhancements. I know. Enhancements. For, I don't know if like in if Lil so Chief weird. or Vunder saw this, but in, in Before the Storm, the video game that I voiced in, they um, my characters he- wait, it wasn't my character. well no. It had my character. My character's head was like floating in another character's like arm as like and it I feel it did they hilarious. ever even fix that? Did they ever fix that? I don't that? <laughs> I don't think so. And then, like, oh another God. character's <gasps> head was, like, on the other side of, like, the Dungeon Master's um, little folder. And yeah. it was just, it was great. It was great stuff. Um, has, anyone, but, has anyone seen the um, 
glitch video at the end of Heavy Rain where he that's the best. <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> I don't think it's I have seen end? that. At the end of it. What? Sean, We're gonna have to watch. Sean. Oh, Sean. Sean. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna that have to look so that up because that sounds awesome. Yeah, okay, so, so Jason. 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 Yeah. Jason. Jason. Except it's Sean. Um, oh, my God. Sean. Oh, except it's Sean. 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 Alrighty, so oh our next God. clip is from um <laughs> his name is Dunkman, and it was get it was um sent in by Puckhead1994. So let's watch this. I this one I feel like Ace is gonna like a lot because Ace has like a thing for the crossbow in Fortnite. I do love the crossbow. I do not. Yeah. Someone's sniping at me. Got one knocked with a crossbow. Hey, yeah. Wow. You guys see it? It's good? Yeah. I swear. I swear. Got balls with the crossbow! Yeah! Eliminated. Oh my god. No wow. Way. I love it. Oh. They never should have gotten rid of that. It's ridiculous. Why would you put that away? Patrick, how do you really feel box. about Fortnite? How do you really feel about <laughs> Fortnite getting rid of the crossbow? What do you What do you really feel about I, this? I'm probably not going to play the game anymore. So oh, they just right. over it. Crossbow. That's fine. They put it in the vault. <laughs> I literally like I I suck at the crossbow. I'm glad they got rid of it. But it's Pat, Ace of Ransom, it's like Ace it's of like Ransom is actually good. Like I don't understand how he kills people with that the crossbow. Is, he does. It's hard to use. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is very hard to use. Aside like, from me falling off, I'm good. Yeah, like, I hate it. It's like the hunting rifle and the crossbow are the worst weapons in the game, but those are Patrick's favorite. Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. So our next clip is um from the the streamer is Gay Fury, and it was sent in by Dress and Bowtie. Um. I just let's see how it plays out. She's upset because she dies. And one of her remarks just out of nowhere is the funniest thing in the world. So let's see if, if it plays for us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, so hold on, let me, wait, 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 wait. I can't, I uh, can't. You, let's you talked it. over it. <laughs> I, no, mm -hmm. no, I restarted it. I knew it was Shiny. happening. Okay, there we go. She dies, she's super pissed. Oh, I see her now. Yeah, wait. Flannel on flannel. <laughs> she's just like, she's super upset about the game, but she just wants, she, she realized that she stood up and everyone just saw her wearing flannel on flannel. <laughs> she's like, she's out there in freaking, I believe she she's from Minnesota. So it's like, just like, that's what she does. She just wears flannel on flannel. Um, oh my so God. I, they, talk, um, they, they talk like Bunderverfer up there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, you guys like Tim Hortons, eh? Double, hey. double, double. Tim Hortons, eh? Maybe you're a diary with the boys. Oh yeah. There you go. You, you and Gay Fury need to just just have a little talk hey. streams. Um, okay, cool. So this next, we have a couple. We have two more. So this next Twitch clip is um, streamer Zan Zanu. I feel like I'm mispronouncing it. Um, Zanu. Uh, she's playing with just random people on this game. And uh, it's a young like kid who is getting yelled at by his mom. And oh, reactions oh no! Really one of those it is. To talk at the end here. And I have to stop it and go back. What is he doing? Is he just AFK or is he warming up? Is that Darwin game? Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. It well, maybe start it. You gotta kind of be quiet because know, because know, he's kind of quiet. Play, okay. Playing just fine. So we've got ten all the way down there. What is he doing? Is he just AFK or is he warming up? I really want to play that. Oh, oh, no. I just love her reaction. <laughs> <laughs> kid oh my god. I have to leave now. I just love her reaction. She just like gives no fucks about this kid. Like no fucks at all. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh my god. I love that. I just like love that woman's reaction. Okay, cool. It. And then the last clip. Oh, I know. She's just like she and she like laughs into her mug. Like yeah. she can't handle her laugh. Okay, and the last Twitch clip is probably one of my favorites here. Um 
and we'll just play it out. To play us out. What are... it's the Bill and this is from, oh, this is from um, It's Hoffy 13. Give me your sweet ass cheeks, baby. Mm. <laughs> How do you like that? No scope for the boy. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was grease. That was grease? Oh, uh, no. I don't want to start saying that was grease, but now it was like grease. <laughs> Dude, Ooh, was, sweet wow. ass cheese. Was, <laughs> he's so into it. Oh my god. Spicy. <laughs> I love that. Wow. Um, uh, yeah, let's see that my was... video works now. Let's see my video works now. The highlights if you still have it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Okay, cool. We're going to go We're gonna go back in time. We do. We have some time because we have a little bit because we started later. So um, yeah. we're going to play the um, highlights of Will Chief. We tried to play at the beginning, and we are in technical difficulties. So we're going to play it right now, um, our little outro intro to Will Chief. Oh, the bandana's coming out. Uh-oh. Are we having the – is this deja vu? Have I traveled back in time? I'm so excited to start the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not playing, she says. I see. It's not playing. No, I can't see it either. I'm not seeing it. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Little Chief, I will put this on Twitter and everybody will see it and I will make damn sure of it. <laughs> try oh, one more time. Try, one more time. Try says one more Jessica. Time. Jessica uh -huh. says one more time. Wait, Pat, you make it go live. You do it. Yeah, yeah, Pat. Gosh, can I, I we just, just like? Can, I just want to give like a yeah, very top of the tab, and then it's it'll be a little cheap in his chair sitting there. I just want to give a shout out to our awesome techies in the background that nobody can see, but they're awesome. Everybody, Elizabeth and Jessica, thank you guys so much. You guys, you guys are amazing. Them. We love you. I see you. I'm present. All right, I'm presenting it. You present the shit out of this video. Yeah. Guys, please. Be quiet what does that say? SOS. Okay. This is Lil Chef. Just kidding. Uh, it's not working. How come I can ah! see it? That's so weird. I can see it. Yeah. I can add. You can? No, I can't. I can't. It just says syncing. Yeah. Jessica okay, says she can see Android. it on her Android, but not her iPhone. Oh, uh, maybe oh. that's it. Oh. Now yeah, everyone yeah. knows. Yeah. Now yeah. the jig is up, guys. The jig is up. Steve. Katie has an Android, the and ghost she's the Steve Jobs. Oh the ghost. I, the go I, I have here. Android I have an Android, and I don't belong. Steve. I Maybe don't I belong. I have an Android also. I don't belong. Yes. I should never. Team Android. No, no. Whoa. Team Android, right? Come on. Proof. Proof of You've team. You've got Android. an Android. <laughs> um. Uh, no. Yeah. So we let's um. Team Android wins. Uh, um. Cool, guys. So, well, Chief, I'll definitely put that on, on, on Twitter, and I'll make sure everybody hears it and sees it because it's super important. Um, but until then, we have to end the show because we're rounding up to the very end. Um, so we'll be back next week at the same time. And um, my hope is that the technical difficulties will be down to a zero, which would be awesome. So yeah, next week on Twitch Talk, we will be back here again. We will not have Little Chief. We will have a new guest streamer, guest panelist. He's like angry about it. Um, so, <laughs> so tune in. We're gonna have guest streamer Business, and I'm super excited about that. Um, you he's say, a very you say, you say it like business. Biz S N E S. Business. Business. No, I want to say business. I want to say like that. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. He's going to retract wanting to be on the show. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have the streamer on. Really unique, really cool streamer. I'm really excited for you guys to see um, his stream stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is now the end. We're going to do shout outs and then we're going to see you all later. Um, awesome. Yeah, Pat's like, I'm ready. Pat, Pat's I'm like, not. I want to get out of here. This technical no, difficulty. No, shit. no, no. I could be here all night. I'm having a blast. I'm not, I won't be out here on on Edward never again. <laughs> yeah, don't don't mention it. Don't mention it. Don't say it. that. Um, if, okay, if someone, cool. If someone drops out, little chief, we might just have you. Yeah, little chief, we we gotta have you follow up. 
Yeah, Maybe. seriously. And then, and, then, and then we will bring the founder of Archetype, and you guys will have it out. We're going to figure this out, guys. We're going to go full Jerry Hold on, I am, here on I, am, talk. <laughs> I am getting some frozen stuff on my end, so yeah. I don't yeah. know, what's, what's showing up for you guys? I Patrick's see, face? I see Ace of Ransom's beautiful. There we go. Okay, now it's good. Yay! Okay. Um, I'm going to be live go, in 25 minutes. Go fund me for for an iPhone. Yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. So shout out, please. This is Little Chief. Thank you again, Little Chief, for having for coming on the show and letting us have you. Please let everybody know look where to find you. Wait. Look, look at the headband. See? Same pattern. Oh, yes. Right. It's totally awesome. Different. Yeah. Stay on brand. I'll be but live yeah, in 25 yeah. minutes. Tell us a little Keep about... brand consistent. Perfect. Well, so my... you're going to be live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash LilChief2007, right? In 25 minutes? Cool. Mm -hmm. And then people can find you where else? You can also find me on Snapchat. Same thing, LilChief2007 also. My, I have a Facebook page I don't use often, but I try to call facebook.com slash LilChiefTribe. Uh, that's the name of my community again. It's the tribe and I. That's my community name. So anything else? Cool. Awesome. Ruby. Well, thank you for having, thank you for coming on. And then um, Ace. Yeah, it's just Ace of Ransom pretty much across all social media. Uh, you know, just for variety. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> just just generic variety, you know, just a guy in his stream. So just come hang. What about this eye roll? What is, what is <laughs> oh, this that's eye my roll emote. about? Also, yeah, if you want my yeah. emote, that's a subscribe. Uh, you can use that anywhere on Twitch. You know, it's really funny. Uh, sorry to, sh to take a step on the shout outs real quick, but I was oh, playing right. LNR last night and I was over this like dead person because I was like looking at their body trying to figure out why they died and their eyes were open and everybody started spamming this emo. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I do kind of look you, dead. You look like you're dead. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then thunder. Ooh, that's Who's that handsome. Pickle, that's man? me. I wear a captain's hat sometimes for some reason. I uh, do you like you do you like fun. <laughs> do you like people who zoom in their faces every two seconds? That's my uh, that's my Twitch channel, my Twitter, my Insta. It's all just Vunderverfering. Call, call me Vundy if you want. But yeah, thank, thank you for having me here tonight, guys, and uh, I appreciate you. Yeah, he's a really awesome streamer. Everybody in the stream is. Please go check everybody out. And then I am Katie Bentz, the host of the show. I really appreciate you all being here. Um, it's been really fun. I'm excited to continue this adventure for the next five weeks of the show. But yeah, if you guys are interested in watching Woo! me, watching my stream, uh, it's twitch.tv slash Katie Bentz. And my Twitter is Katie Bentz and my Instagram is Katie Bentz Official. So please check me out on all those things. Um, and yes, guys, this is the end of the show. Thank you so much for bearing with us um, and hanging out and listening to us talk about awesome Twitch and streamer stuff and make sure you come back next week thursday at 8 p.m pacific time 11 p.m eastern time and you will see our lovely places again except me except my except little chief. <laughs> except little but chief. you so can go see little chief here in about 20 minutes in 25 minutes he's going to be live on his twitch channel at twitch.tv slash little chief 2007 all righty guys thank you so much and have a great rest of your night okay Love bye guys you. bye bye bye, bye.